Welcome to Banana Moors. I'm so excited to watch this next performer light up the Banana Moors stage. Get ready for comedy greatness. Thank you, Mitzi. I'm Percy Rastanji, and I want to know how y'all do it. Are you guys ready for an Indian queer? So look, quarantine sucks, okay? Everything's closed. The only thing opening up slowly are relationships, all right? And if you guys think that you've had a dry spell, I have been single and celibate for seven years. Do you guys like books? Welcome to Charlotte's Web. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going on a date. I'm doing it. This is, this is my year. I'm gonna do it. This is what we all said, right? This is, I'm going on my first date. I'm vaccinated. It's gonna be great. So I saw this guy uh, at a crosswalk and he looked really cute. And so I walked up onto him and I noticed he was scary as heck. So I walked on back, <laughs> there's a little jazz walk. I was like, uh-uh, nope, not the, not, not the one. Uh, I mean, he had like, you know, rippling muscles and giant biceps and veins popping out of his eye, okay? So I was like, don't mess with that. But on his right bicep in giant tattooed letters was the word dancer. <laughs> I was like, oh. Never judge a book by its cover, unless it's Charlotte's Web. Um, I literally turned him by his bicep. I was like, you're a dancer? I'm a dancer. Are you classically trained? <laughs> I actually toured with Janet. It was Janet Reno, but still. Uh, it was a little dancer humor, which he did not understand and did not like. Uh, I, I looked closer because he was not reciprocating anything back to me, and his tattoo actually said danger. Okay? Not dancer. Those are two very different things. <laughs> my, my dangerous dancer. So I jazz walked right out of that situation and onto a Tinder. <laughs> Tinder, uh, where I met this great guy and he was lovely and the conversation was popping and flowing because that's very important. And he was from the enchanting land of Ecuador. This amazing, beautiful place. Uh, it's in South America, did not know that. Neighbors. Uh, and he had this beautiful accent, uh, but he was only in town for one more night. So we just had to meet. So our first date was just me and him and his entire Ecuadorian family at his godmother's 90th birthday party dinner on the patio, okay? <laughs> Safety. And by on the patio, I mean the restaurant threw uh, some tarp and some chairs into the street because that's what they be doing now. <laughs> They're like, it's the safest new way to eat in the middle of the street. You won't get hit by COVID, but just by a bus. Um, and so mid-dinner, you know, we're enjoying ourselves. Uh, he's like, Percy, uh, I, I want to introduce you. Th it's time. Atención, atención. This is a fork. Uh, Mama, papa, tío, tía, prima, chupacabras. Everybody, come on, listen, listen. This is my new friend, Percy, and I'm gay. <laughs> I was mid-wave, I was like, hi, I got, ooh! <laughs> and I'm gay? <laughs> this is the moment, you... his entire Ecuadorian family <laughs> was looking at him with adoration and stars in their eyes, my beautiful, pure son, and they pivoted and looked at me like, you did this to our baby. I'm not trying to get beat up. I was like, ew, you're what? That is disgusting. Uh -uh. What a hard life. Grandma, mm -mm. we don't like it. We don't like it, right? No, we don't like it. We don't like it. They weren't buying any of that. So <laughs> that is the story of how I got chased out of the Cheesecake Factory, how I jazz ran out of the Cheesecake Factory in Beverly Hills. <laughs> I'm still single. Thank you, Mitzi. Thank you, everybody. I'm Percy Rastamji. In case you know anybody, send them my way, please. I'm so lonely. Grandma, I literally did not stop laughing the whole time. Can someone pass me my inhaler?